Begin with a freshly collected sample of whole blood. The pink top is especially designed for blood banking and donor procedures. Lavender tops are also acceptable. Make sure you select the right size cup before centrifuging. To open, press the red button. Don't forget to always balance your cups and specimens. Weighted tubes are available if you only have one specimen to spin. Close the lid. You can adjust the speed and time by pressing the blue buttons either up or down. In blood banking, we spin at 3200 RPMs for 5 minutes. Press the green button to start. When complete, you should have two distinct layers. Unlike SST tubes, your sample could get remixed, so be careful when transporting. The most important step in all laboratory procedures is labeling. On all my tubes, I will write my initials, the patient's ID, and reagents added. Equipment and supplies are frequently shared, and this will eliminate any confusion. Most importantly, we are preventing the risk of any misdiagnosing. Before beginning, we must always label our test tubes and rack them in the correct order. In hole 1 is our centrifuge sample of whole blood. Next is our 2-4% to patient cell suspension. Anti-A. Anti-B. Anti A comma B A cells B cells and O cells Anti A B and A comma B is for forward typing. A cells, B cells, and O cells are for reverse typing. First, prepare your 2 to 4 percent patient cell suspension. Carefully insert a disposable pipette into the tube. We are only collecting the red cells, so go down far enough before sucking it up. Slowly remove pipette not to mix cells with the plasma layer as it will be used later on. Squeeze saline into the test tube, making sure the tip does not touch any part of the vial or pipette. Contamination will ruin the entire bottle. Mix the tubes simply by squeezing the pipette several times. To determine if you have correctly made the 2 to 4% suspension, you may compare it to one of the reagent cell bottles. The ratio must be correct or else it will cause a pro or post zone effect yielding false results. The tube I prepared is too light. I must go back and add more red cells. If the tube is too dark, you must add more saline. With practice, you will be able to get this correct on the first try. Add two drops of each antisera into its matching test tube.
Because there is a long time between use of the reagents, be sure to mix each bottle before dispensing it into your test tube. Please note how reagent and plasma is added first. It would be difficult to double check your steps if patient cells were added before reagents. Using a disposable pipette, add two drops of patient plasma into tubes AC, BC, and OC. Add one drop of patient cell suspension into tubes Antisera A, Antisera B, and Antisera A, comma B. Now add one drop of the appropriate cells into its matching test tube for the reverse group. Gently mix all the tubes. They will now be centrifuged using a special instrument called a serofuge. Set the time for 15 seconds. Load your tubes, again making sure it is balanced. Press the start button to begin. This next step is called grading. Read each tube one at a time and record results as you view them. You will need an agglutination viewer to do so. All the tubes will have a visible cell button after centrifuging. Only look at the magnified image in the mirror. Gently flicker and shake the tube until all of the cell button is no longer stuck to the glass. If a glutination is still visible, the reaction is considered positive. Repeat this step with all your test tubes. Observe only one at a time and record your results immediately. If you observe hemolysis after centrifuging, the reaction is also considered positive. In the forward typing, we test the patient's red blood cells, antigen, against known antisera antibody. Our body makes what we don't possess. A glutination is occurring because the patient red blood cell already has A and B proteins on its surface. Now let's take a look at the reverse group. In the reverse typing, we are testing the patient's serum or plasma against known blood types. This is done to confirm the blood type results taken from forward testing. 
There are no antibodies in the patient's plasma, so no agglutination is occurring. On your result sheets, you would report this as a negative. All results with reverse typing were negative. All results with forward typing was positive. This confirms that my patient is A, B blood type. Refer to this chart to determine what blood type your patient has.